we've been here photographing harlequin ducks and the uh, barrel golden eye uh, for three days and not really testing but for the first day I I took out my old and trusty 500 f4 prime lens I've used for about 10 years I think and uh, it's been an interesting experience and uh, I'm going to just talk about not only the photography and the videography of these uh, very interesting ducks like the Barrow Golden Eye and uh, the Harley Quinn ducks but also about the experience using small lenses like this one the set 400 millimeter 4.5 The Harley Quinn ducks are some amazing ducks and it's amazing to spend many evenings watching them. Now, they are not shy, they're not so skittish. They allow you to come within maybe, um, I'd say, 10 meters, 10 yards, something like that. And uh, using this, 400 f4.5 uh, sometimes with a 1.4 and a 2.0 converter teleconverter uh, we got some amazing results but watching them the behavior it's fantastic these ducks are just amazing It's amazing to see how they behave before and when mating. I know it's maybe a gray area, I don't know, but it's ducks, okay? So you notice that the female starts by putting the head down in almost to the water, like sending some kind of a signal to the male and uh, immediately he starts uh, picking on her head. Watching this, it's amazing. It took maybe, maybe uh, two minutes, I don't know, before something happens. And when it happens, it happens quickly. Luckily, I was shooting with this. I was probably just with 400 node teleconverter. Gila was shooting just a little bit downstream, taking slow mo. Okay, now that's being lucky. And we were not the only ones being lucky.
one difference using this system, the new mirrorless set system, is that it's more mobile. I don't need a tripod really. Uh, at least today I'm telling myself that because more or less I'm always shooting now lying down on the ground. I'm using this sometimes and uh, a beanbag. I, I stuff the beanbag with with a camonet and uh, all the videos you see see now of, of the ducks in, in this video are shot like this, no tripod, sometimes handheld, showing how very well the vibration reduction is working and the, the stabilization in the, in the camera. We find it handy to uh, use net like this one or, or the one Kela is using, a brown one. It's, it's a transparent one. Of course the ducks see you, the birds see you, they do. But I look at it the way that this gives me a few meters. It gives me a few meters closer to the subject. Often when they see your face, they go. They, make, uh, they, they want to have more distance from you, you're a human. If you put this, somehow I notice they come a little bit closer. Often, something that makes up the difference between maybe a 400 or a 600 lens. That's how I think. Get closer. They know you're there, but you're getting closer and they, they trust this a little bit better. photographing the Harlequin ducks on the rocks. It's amazing that we could use this beanbag as a tripod. And we have often been trying to take photos like this. Moving water at 1 20th in speed or less even. At, uh, with a tele 560 millimeters. We often been trying this and have done this with. I've done this with a 500. Gila has been doing this with a 302.8 and a tele, sometimes, and uh, get the movie, moving water, silky water, a decent focus on the eye of of the Harlequin duck, 
and uh, it's been great sometimes but we needed always to have a tripod and uh, take multiple shots and uh, not necessarily all of them in focus of course because it was taken actually as a long exposure but using this and this with the image stabilization here I found that of course a lot of them were not sharp but a whole lot was just fine more than using the old system so this is one of the things the mirrorless system is helping us the vibration reduction in the body in the lenses it's helping a lot and uh, being this mobile being able to put this on anywhere almost it helps enjoying to be out here and uh, get shots like this. Sometimes we miss them. When I was looking this way and Gida suddenly notices a uh, helicopter on a rock above us. I don't know where she was going. She was going nuts because she saw something. I, I didn't see the, see the duck sitting there, but it was behind the bank of the river. She got one shot out of focus unfortunately before it went away and of course that was the image we wanted and she wanted. <laughs> we didn't get it I think. As a day after, after this day, we might get another chance someday. There's always something you miss, but fortunately we got some shots we are happy with. See you next time. Thank you for watching.